Happy Friday, sixth grade students. It's Mrs. Houck here again with our math lesson. Um, the homework you had last night was lesson eight. Um, I asked you to fill in the chart and then do a couple problems. What I want to do today is I just kind of want to go over your homework real quick. And then I'm going to give you a little exit ticket to fill in. Make sure you're paying attention because I think um, there's going to be some answers from my video that will be on your exit ticket. Okay, so we did, I think, this first one together and the second one. Um, let's look at the third one, the next one. Um, remember, we're putting them in order from greatest to least. Well, four-fifths is better, bigger than zero. And because it's bigger, it's further to the right. So we're putting four-fifths in zero. The next one, we have negative 70 and negative 70 and four-fifths. Well, which is greater? Which one's further to the right? Negative 70 is our greater number. So on my number line, if I have 0, negative 70 is going to be closer to 0 than negative 70 and 4 fifths. Let's look at the next one, negative 15 and negative 5. Well, negative 5 would be here, negative 15 would be here, so negative 5 would be bigger. 1 half and negative 2, well obviously positive numbers are larger than negative numbers, so it's going to be on the right side of the number line. The next one you had three rational numbers. Um, I put them in order, negative 99, negative 99.3, and negative 100. They would go in that order. The number that's furthest to the right would be the negative 99, and furthest to the left would be negative 100. The next one we have is I look in terms of money a lot of times. I probably would have put a zero right here to help me. This to me is 5 cents, and this is 50 cents. 50 cents is obviously larger than 5 cents, so 50 cents and 5 cents. Then I have 0, negative 1 fourth, and negative 3 fourths. Obviously, 0 is larger than my negative numbers. Negative 1 fourth is going to be here. Negative 3 fourths would be here. So obviously, negative 4 is my larger number out of those two. And finally, I have uh, the last one with decimals. Remember, I look in terms of money, 2 cents, 4 cents. Well, I know 4 cents is larger than 2. However, when I'm dealing with negatives, it's the opposite. And so I have here negative 2 hundredths and negative 4 hundredths. Okay? So if you remember, today I'm just kind of going over the assignment. Um, we've already had the lessons this entire week. Hopefully you've been paying attention. Okay, turn over to the back side. You've had two problems to do over here. Okay, problem number four, I asked you to put them in order from least to greatest, starting with negative numbers, and then we get to zero, and then we go positive. The next problem was doing the opposite. We had to go from greatest to least. Greatest means I'm going to start with the positive numbers and work down to my negative. So I basically am turning this around from what I did on number four. Very similar numbers, but not exact. Finally, before I give you the exit ticket, those of you that have been paying attention, if you've followed along on Lesson 8, I am going to tell you that the exit ticket is actually some of the problems that I did on Lesson 8, so don't put your blue book away. You're going to want to use it to help you. My other suggestion is you might want to write this fraction down. This is a rational number, 21 over 5. You, <clears throat> you might have gone over a few of these things in class with your teacher yesterday. If not, let me show you. If you have 21 over 5 and you're trying to order some rational numbers and you're not sure where to put 21 over 5, we're going to change this to a mixed number. This basically says 21 divided by 5. 5 does not go into 2, but 5 does go into 21 4 times. 4 times 5 is 20. Subtract, so my answer would be 4 and 1 fifth. So, you need to know for today on your exit ticket, when you see this rational number, 21 over 5 is the same as 4 and 1 fifth. Keep this handy for when you do your exit ticket. Hope you all have a great weekend, and I will talk to you all on Monday.